Why you rolling your eyes? Cause. Can I? I didn't roll my eyes not once. I was rolling my eyes at the woman. Well, roll. <laughs> Crew. Welcome back to our channel. My name is Kalan and this is my beautiful girlfriend Tiara. Hi guys. Okay guys, so today we're going to be telling you a story how me and Tiara both got hit on by cougars on the same day at work. The same day. Yes. It was a, a horrible experience. Yeah. But we wanted to share this with you guys, so we're just going to get right into the video. It had to be like 45, 40 years old. Like. No, he was older than that. My man's needed some prune juice and maybe some applesauce. He was a little bit old, baby. Man, yeah. man, he was not that he, old. He was old. He had to be. The way the what you explained to me, it made him sound old. He was old minded. Yes. So if you guys don't know, me and Kalan both work at a catering company for an airport. And basically the little snacks and cookies that y'all be eating when y'all get on the plane, that was all us. That was us. We That's did that. Nice. Basically, we both were helpers, driver's helpers, and we had a driver. So the driver was the one driving the truck around full of snacks, and we were the helpers. We guided the, the drivers to the plane, and mm -hmm. we um, helped them out so that the surface of the truck would meet the surface of the plane like this so we wouldn't fall and that's basically our job and then when we get up there we take all the chips and we stack them into little cubbies and you know lock them up and make sure that you know the plane's good to go so that y'all have snacks to eat so you know you it was it was a ordinary day ordinary and at work i don't dress up too much so y'all can't say like y'all you was beat had a face full of makeup nah, that's why he ain't. came to you nope she didn't wear makeup to work. I did not wear makeup to work. I didn't even show my hair. I always wore like a scully cap, like not even a hat like this. I wear a hat like this with a small ponytail in the back, but I also wear like a cap so you mm -hmm. couldn't see any hair. I would literally look like a boy and you couldn't wear earrings. So I was just like, at that point, I'm like, I have a, a man. I don't care about anything y'all talking about. Mm -hmm. I got up to the surface of the plane and you know, just like any other flight attendant, he greeted me, hi, hello. And the flight attendants are super, super, super talkative and super welcoming. So that's not anything like right. unordinary. Like they always talk to you and they talk your ear off and you just nod and smile. All right. So he's like, hey, and I'm like, oh, hi. You know, he asked for a case of water, which they usually tell us what more or less that they need. So, you know, I went and told my driver like, hey, he needs another case of water. And then, you know, I grabbed my chips to get back to work, put in my headphones. Now I'm jamming, listening to my music like. Mm -hmm. Then I hear him say something. So I take my headphones out and I'm like, huh? And he's like, oh, um, I haven't seen your face around here before. Are you new? Mm. I don't know what to say, no sir. Not new to you. That's what I would have told him. I was like, yeah, like, yeah, because like I said, I didn't think anything of it because they're so friendly. So I'm like, yeah, like, you know what I'm saying? I'm fresh meat or whatever. I'm just, you know, I'm new, but I know how to do my job. Like, you know what I mean? Kept it pushing. So then after that, he's like, how do you like, how do you like the job? And I was like, oh, you know, it's okay. You know, I'm I'm in it for, you know, this money or whatever, but it's not nothing serious. And he's just like, oh, okay. And he's, you know, he's just, he's kind of like dancing. Like, it's like a conversation where he's just kind of like saying a little this and a little that. And I'm just saying a little this, a little that. But I didn't think anything of it because, like I said, flight attendants are so friendly. Mm -hmm. So then another time... I pass him because we also have to do the front of the plane, but sometimes like when I'm done before my partner, I'll go check the front like by myself. Right. And you know, I had to pass him again and then he was just like, he actually complimented me at this time. And that's when I kind of knew like, whoop, whoop, that was too much. He was just like, you're gorgeous or whatever. Why you look so sad? And that's like, that's like the main thing with, with men. Wow. Like, why I'm not smiling? Why don't you smile? Because she smiles with me, all right? That's why. I'm at work. I got my headphones in. I am not paying attention. Like, I smile for what? So then after that, he's like, what we eating tonight? And I'm like, yo, one, like, dude, you keep talking to me. But I'm like, now I know, like, for sure, like, you're mm -hmm. trying to hit on me. Yep. You know what I mean? So he's like, what we eating tonight? And I'm like, what do you mean? And he's just like, can I take you out? I was like. Yeah. I 
And at the time, I'm like, do you not see how old I am? Like, especially I don't have a face full of makeup on. I literally look like a 12 year old. Like, but I thought he was gonna ask me my age, and that was gonna be like my little way out. Like, oh, you're 15. <laughs> I'm not even 15, but I'll take it. But then he was just like, oh, can I get your number? I want to take you out. And that's when I was like, er, got a boyfriend. Like, you're bugging. Like, you need to move. Bugged. Scoot to the left. Skedaddle. Exit to the left. Skedaddles. So out of here. Get him out of here. Get him out of here. Throw him out. After that, I was just disgusted. We are actually timed when it comes to like doing the snacks on the plane. You can't just take your time and like put one little snack here. You're literally timed. So it's right. like you're moving like this sometimes on the plane if it's a delay or if it's not a delay or if they're leaving earlier than what the time says on the little schedule thing. So at this point, I'm Speedy McGee. I'm creeped out. I'm like, oh, nah, you asked me my number. I literally look 12. I have no hair. I have no eyelashes on. You're doing too much. You're like 50 years old. Like, mm. So I quick did my snacks and I got off real quick and as soon as i got off y'all know i had to call bae i'm like babe he tried to hit on me he was like 50 years old he asked me what i'm eating tonight and it was just so creamy so y'all know what i wanted to do over at pull up but he always be like babe he, he get all like what you need me to do i'm like oh mm -hmm. my god you know me i'm always ready to pull up it's not a problem so yeah i'm just like big i mean do i need to make it happen she like babe i'm already off the plane yeah. So, you know me, I'm just like, alright, whatever, cool. Couldn't really be mad because in that same breath, my next line to her was, that just happened to me also. So, now I'm taking over. I was guiding the truck to the plane. As I was guiding the truck to the plane, you know, I was listening to my A Boogie with the bait putty. It ain't nothing you could take from me. You already know, I'm listening to A Boogie. And we go up, doing my work. Me, as a person, I move fast. It doesn't matter who I'm with. Who I'm with doesn't really matter. I'm trying to get it done fast because once you're done with your work for the day, you don't have anything else to do. Skedaddles. Skedaddles. You can go home, do whatever you want to do, clock out, whatever. As long as you do what you need to do. So I'm up there. The first thing that y'all need to know, I'm sweating like a Hebrew slave. <laughs> I'm telling you, that hasn't eight in four days. I'm telling you, I'm sweating. And in my mind, I'm just trying to get it done. I'm, I know I stink. I know I smell. I've been there all day. If you guys don't know, the front of the plane is always smaller when it comes to like snacks and everything. And the back of the plane always has more. I'm doing the front of the plane. As I'm doing the front of the plane, I always ask what they want while I do the plane. So while I'm asking, while I'm thinking in my head what I should be doing, I'm grabbing other things that I already know they're already gonna need. So as I'm grabbing things that I'm already know that they're gonna need, I'm going to the, I'm going inside, and I feel somebody looking at you. Ever been somewhere you know somebody's looking at you? The flight attendants came in early that day. When they come in early, that means it's a quick departure. They're trying to get out. I understand. So the first thing the lady says to me is she's like, oh yeah, uh, how long are you gonna be? Because it's gonna take like 10 or 15 minutes. When she says that, my back's turned to her. She didn't see me at this time, but it was two other ladies behind her sitting down as well. Why you roll your eyes? Cause. Can I? I didn't roll my eyes not once. I was rolling my eyes at the woman. Well, roll. <laughs> <laughs> as my back is turned, you know, I'm doing my doing my bends, whatever. I turn around and I look at her and I go, okay, ma'am, no problem, not a problem at all. She said something to the other girl, I walked back. I went and headphone in, that's how I heard, cause I'm like, how did you hear if you had headphones? I had one headphone in, I'm listening. And then she goes, oh my God, you are just the most handsomest thing that I've ever seen. So in my head, I'm like, yo, this lady has to be at least 40 years old. And that wasn't the worst part. The lady sitting next to her goes, oh my God, I was just about to say the same thing. You took the words right out of my mouth. So I'm looking, I'm just like, thank you. Oh my God, thanks, 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 thanks. But in my head, I'm like, oh, nah, dog, I gotta go. <laughs> but I didn't want to be mean. So the next question she asked me, she was like, are you mixed? Like, are you mixed? Because I had my hair out at the time. You know, my hair's curly. So she goes, are you mixed? You know me, I'm like, yeah, I'm black and ignorant, you feel me? You know what I mean? <laughs> so she looking at me, she's like, I know she was like, wow, he's, yeah, he plays too much. So at that point, I was just trying to make a joke. I was just trying to be friendly, but I was just trying to like go and do my thing because- Already it, doing too much. How am I doing too much? She you asked me what black? I mix with. I'm black and I'm ignorant, so let me get my ignorance off off this plane. <laughs> Exactly, because you know how I act, you know how I get out. So I'm just like, yo, I'm mixed with black and ignorant. Let me get off. I'm like, all right, goodbye. Get off the plane. And before I'm about to get off and close the door, she was like, I normally don't do younger guys, but I, you're definitely making me reconsider. So I'm like, you know what? 
Let me just close this door. I was like, you know what, man? I, I have a girlfriend. I'm sorry, but, you know, thanks for the offer. You know what I mean? <laughs> so I closed the door. I closed the door. And then I'm going down to myself. I'm just like, dog, what type of world are we living in? This lady was like 40, 45. She was about the same age as the, lady, the other guy that came up to you. Wow. So I tell Bay after she called me. But that was the ironic thing because as I was bringing the truck down, she calls me. And she's like, hey, guess what? And that's how we got hit on at work by Cougars on the same day. Okay guys, so with that being said, that concludes our video for today. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. If you like this video, make sure you give us a big thumbs up, letting us know so. Comment down below how you guys really feel. And if you guys would like to see more story times, always remember to share, subscribe, and click the notification bell so that you guys get notified every time that we upload. And we'll see you guys in our next video. Bye. Bye.